Hey everybody, it's Billy from Spicy Ginger Soap. I'm going to make a loaf of Calabrian, Calabrian bergamot and violet from Rustic Essentials. This one um, is really nice and fresh smelling. It's like a light, clean, fresh scent. Not, um, I wouldn't consider it really floral. So, and last time I did uh, the Periwinkle and the Luster Blue. These are both Micas from Micas and More. Today I'm going to do those two plus Amethyst Purple from Crafter's Choice. And then of course some Titanium Dioxide. And um, I'm going to do, I did a Tiger Stripe the last time. I'm going to do the same thing this time. So... But it'll probably turn out a little bit different, obviously, because I'm using different colors, an extra color, basically. Go ahead and get my lye water in here. I'm using this container. If you watched my one of my other videos, I talked about um, one of my glass containers that I was using for the lye actually had a um, big crack in it that I saw. And so I'm not using glass anymore. I never should have been. And I knew I had, you know, I knew glass could be dangerous or, you know, after a long period of using it, it cracks. But um, I don't know, it's easy to find glass jars with lids to um, keep it in. And that's why I was doing that. But I'm not going to do that again. So. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and this is it's basically emulsified now. I'm going to, one thing I really can't remember was, is if it um, accelerated or not when I did it. I should have watched my, my other video, but um, I don't remember it accelerating a lot, so I think we'll be fine. I mean, I did the whole tiger stripe. You started getting thick towards the end. Anyhow, blah, 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 right? I'll go ahead and I do want to get So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get this in. This is two ounces. Oh, it smells so good. It really does. Yeah, this is going to be really pretty. That'll be good. Let's see how much is in here. Three. It's hard to see it in certain lights. We'll put a tiny bit more. Alright, I'm going to do white in between. 
so I want more white than the colors. And let's see if I can get my stick blender. I don't want to mix in a bunch of bubbles. And then I'm going to get my little whisk. Well, I guess I'm not. I can't find it. Go ahead and mix these in with my spatula then. <laughs> oh, I love this blue. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? luster blue from micas and more it really is so pretty and it goes good with so many things like I've used that with um, every color really other blues green pink purples I think it looks great with this um, periwinkle and that's a gorgeous color also isn't that pretty I just love um, playing with the different mica colors, putting different um, color combinations together. I think they're so pretty. All right, and my last one is this amethyst purple, which I got a, um, a sample of it. I didn't buy like the big one, but this is very pretty and um, I would not mind having a jar of this. Look how gorgeous that is. And basically I'm having, because it's violet, I uh, wanted two different violet colors in it. So I think that that's just gonna be so pretty together with the white and then the blue for a little contrast. I could do a lot of different um, swirls that would you know, look pretty with these this color combination. Okay. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and I'll lay my white in first. And it's getting, you know, because of the titanium dioxide, it's going to get a little thicker quicker. There we go. All right. And I think I'll do the periwinkle first. not perfect but it doesn't have to be Having a bigger, uh, I mean a smaller container to pour with would be easier if I had that for the white. And this is definitely thickening up so I need to not dilly dally.
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my lines a little bit um, basically thicker. I'm going to do a couple more pass-throughs so that I can use my um, So I can use more of this quickly so I don't have um, that white thickening up on me so bad. As you can see then as things thicken up you are able to see basically more of a stripe I'm flinging batter everywhere. That helps to like thin things, not thin them down, but it does help to like just stir it up a little bit. We're getting towards the end. This will probably be the last. Just want enough for the top. Yeah, that's all really I want to do now is just, and so I'm probably going to have to, 
do literally just like one pass with the blue because otherwise I'm going to run out. I mean, of the white. What am I talking about? All right. Yeah, I'm like really low on my white. There we go. This will be my last stripe. Okay, so I'm going to just clean up real quick. And then clean up this little area, sides here. And then, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just cover the whole thing with white. All right. All right. That'll be like basically the last stripe on there. And I'm gonna Pound it down one more time. All right. All right, perfect. Now I'm gonna do, I'll do um, blue on this side. And then, let's see, do my dark purple on the other side. I don't know how much of my white's gonna come through, but, um, oops.
then I've got my light purple. And that one, gosh, I was going to do it like through the white, like in the middle. I don't know if this is going to work or not. It may cover up the white, but we'll see. We'll just see how things go. The white will peek through a little bit, I think. I don't want to waste any of this, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the rest of my colors. And um, the white can just be that last stripe. I'm fine with that. Okay. All right, good deal. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hello. That's okay. That's so like me to do something like that. Kletzo. All right. I can clean that up with a um, skewer too, so I'm not worried about that. Go ahead and put the rest of my dark purple in here. I'll just go ahead and cover up all the white. Have an all color top. This is going to be really pretty, anyways. I know it is. Um, a swirl with all these colors. Gorgeous. in there. Clean up the mess I made. And I'll clean the rest of this here. swirl this. Perfect. All right. 
right, so there we go. A little of that white poking through. There's the end result. I'll bring you guys back tomorrow and we'll cut it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. All right, we're gonna cut this. Here's the top. Got a little bit of soda ash. Not too bad though, just a little bit here and there on here. Um, other than that, looks good. You go ahead and cut a small piece off the end. There we go. That's pretty. I like it. Very pretty. I'm really glad I added that dark purple. I like the way it looks. I like the contrast it gives and just a little extra color and uh, kind of like depth. Yeah, I like it. And this smells so good. So nice and light. Kind of like Really, really fresh smelling. So pretty. I really like these colors together. I need to adjust this. I don't have enough room. There we 
though. Keep almost hitting my soaps. There we go, that's better. <clears throat> I always like the tiger stripe when it kind of does this um, U shape. I just think it looks pretty on the bottom. All right, we're gonna get one more. Full size. There it is. That's the last one. And then we've got uh, a nice size sample here. What I'll do is I'm gonna um, go ahead and cut it in half. Um, let's see, well, I think I'm gonna cut it even though, I just think it's awkward to use a sample size like that. But I don't know, I'll mix it up. I always do it half size, so I'll do it this way this time. We'll do a sample bar like that. Something different. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll bring you guys back for the next video. I have, um, <laughs> I've got, yeah, three loaves to cut today. So I'll be back later on today to cut the others. I'm going to go to work and then I'll bring, bring you back for those. Have a great day, guys.